Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to be working in Procreate on an iPad. This is an iPad Pro. It's 12.9 inches and I've got my Apple Pencil right here and we're using the Procreate app and we're going to just create some simple shadow topography using a few really easy steps. So this is the final outcome of what we're going to be creating together and let's just jump in and get started. The link to the brush that I'm using as well as the colors um, are all in the video description. So just click there and you'll get everything that's being used here. So I'm just gonna create a brand new screen size document. All right, and the first thing you wanna do is just drop your color in. So you can just come over to your layer and tap on it and hit fill and it'll fill it right in. You're gonna wanna use a dark color for this. I apologize for any reflections you might be seeing right here. It's a little difficult to film an iPad um, with a dark color and not get reflections. So anyway, um, from here, we're just going to create a brand new layer. We're gonna put in our topography. So I'm using kind of a light blue color for this. So I've got my brush all selected. Okay, so once you have your lettering all written out, now you're gonna create a brand new layer and choose a different color. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on top because my top text is going to feel more forward, so it'll be a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to make sure that it's on a brand new layer above my previous layer. And you'll see that I kept it really close to my previous layer, but I'm gonna show you how to adjust that. So even if you change your mind later on, you're gonna be able to move it wherever you want it. Okay, so from here, we're just going to tap on our top layer. So the text that says shadow right here, choose select, and then you're gonna tap on your first layer, which mine says topography right here. So tap on that one and then create a new layer right above it. So we have a layer right in between. And then I'm gonna come back to my colors and I'm gonna to return to that really dark blue color that I set for my background color. And then come back to your layers, tap on that layer and choose fill. So now we have a shadow, let me turn off the background, you can see. I've got the shadow text as both a light green color and as a dark blue color now. Let me turn my background back on. So now with this shadow text layer that's dark blue, I'm gonna come over here and tap my cursor and I'm just going to drag it below because it's gonna create our shadow. So I'm not gonna to go too far because I don't want any gaps right around here. I'm keeping it pretty tight so you can see right here. Um, let me show you without the background too. You can see the distance that I've moved it. Okay, so with that selected, now we're gonna apply a blur to it. So tap on your magic wand up here, choose Gaussian Blur, and then just slide the slider until that looks pretty good. You want a noticeable blur, but you don't wanna like shoot it way out. So probably, let's see what I like. I'm gonna go with like 40% here, 39%. Okay, so now you're gonna duplicate this layer two more times. So push this over, choose Duplicate, push this over, choose duplicate, and now we have this shadow that's gotten a lot darker. If we zoom out, you can see it's looking pretty good. So now that we have a darker shadow, because when you do the Gaussian Blur, it kind of expands things, so it looks a little lighter. So by duplicating it, we get a darker shadow. So from here, you're going to tap on your top copy and choose Merge Down, and then tap on the next copy and choose merge down. So now they're all merged together. And now we wanna blur it just a little bit more so we get that really nice big blur on here to show that it's definitely in front of the background text. So I've got my shadow layer right here selected and I'm gonna return my magic wand, choose Gaussian Blur and just up it a little bit more. So I'm right around 40% again. Okay, so that's looking really good. But now say I wanna move all of my shadow, my lettering and my shadow up at the same time, but they're on different layers. The way that I can do that is with your shadow text, the green text selected, you're gonna come down to your shadow, the actual shadow layer, and you're just gonna push it to the right. And this is gonna lock these two together. And then you're gonna hit these three horizontal lines right here, and that's going to group them together. So now, Whenever I move them, they move together. You can see the shadow and the lettering move at the same time. So now I can position it wherever I want it to go. I can turn it, I can rescale it. I've got a lot more options and they, those layers all stick together, but they're still independent of one another. I haven't merged them together. So that's a nice little trick. And once you're happy, 
you are all set. So that's a really quick tip on how to create simple shadow typography using an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and the Procreate app. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials, iPad lettering tutorials, and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.